in conflict with the time on the clock. This time we're going to call the meeting to order. It's past 6.30. I'm assuming everybody who plays on the meeting is here on this show. Start with the agenda. Call the place of the meeting. Review the approved minutes for uh, review and approve the minutes for May 8, 2019. Discussion. Motion on the uh, Thank you. floor. 
to not accept the minutes of the meeting that were read right here. Um, they do not reflect what's in the report. Did you have a problem? We did, and that's what we're reviewing. And as a vote, we have unanimous vote against that it's unacceptable. The only question now is who's going to correct it and fix it. Everybody volunteer? Thank you, Bernie. Um, <laughs> That's called delegation. Thank you. Yes. one. Do the treasurer's report to budget today? Um, we, have the, we, we have one. We have one. We have one. One. One copy, sorry. Going back to uh, the deal. Purchase order. Purchase order we talked about. I bought an invoice. Any outstanding invoices anywhere? Outstanding invoices. People need to aware of. Not at the moment. I'm sure I probably will contact you within the next day or so. It's a regular. <laughs> we just figured while we're here, we'll get them out of the way. Thank you. All right. So, I'm assuming you prepared this treasure report, correct? Yeah, I emailed it to you. Yeah, I got it. Um, so, we got an ending bank balance of 430 of uh, 60579.38. Deposits since then have been 115,627.32. Vendor checks cleared 17,256.08. And payroll fees 17,179.31. Current balance of 141,77.31. Public investment pools is $310,868.91. Any discussion on that? Commissioners? I thought it was a good report. <laughs> Move to accept this red. I second it. Vote? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. to the executive session on two items. Um, no. One? one We're item. actually going to have two executive sessions. One is personnel and the other one is legal. legal. So, um, personnel one is first. Um, you can have everybody in the room. That's right. Appreciate it.
the session. Um, it was a decision. And um, because it concerns personnel, we can't tell you what it is because that's confidential under 91A. So the person involved will be notified in writing. Okay, we're back in session. So moving down the list. Clerk's report of billing and delinquency. That, yes, no. We have an aggregate report here, but I would like to see details. Yes, I thought we were going to get that last one. Let's just clarify. What we would like is a list of the aged delinquency report. The system does produce it because if there's any issue of shutoffs, or arrangements to pay, the commissioners have to approve that. So we've got to know who we're talking about because sometimes people end up on the delinquency list because of errors or misunderstandings. And so we need to go through it line by line and see who's delinquent and for how long. Because I ran a report the other day and there's one name on there that seems to be on there all the time. It's public information, according to law, so the next meeting we need a list of who's to link it, for how long, and how much. And, oh, and the address, too, because if there's a house that we discover is actually vacant, and actually should be shut off because it's vacant, we need to know that. Any discussion on that? Not for me. We just received yesterday, I believe it was, a letter from DES, um, and I'll just read you the letter. Um, the purpose of this letter is to address the permitting and requirement related to voluntary use of GP well to source non general Sullivan. The rate of the Rollins bid incidentally operating well during 2018 and 19 um, have exceeded the permitted production volume. Uh, approved by New Hampshire Divine, Department of Environmental Resources in January, 5,217. The maximum approved withdrawal was 119,420 uh, gallons per day. Table below summarizes the report of water from the well through March of 19. The above table indicates GP2. W2 exceeded its approved um, PPD on at least one occasion each month during nine of the past 12 months. These exceed are uh, out of compliance with the approved withdrawal volume from the well and demonstrate that the well is being used to a level in excess with which it has been stress tested, which has been shown to be viable and sustainable source. Um, moreover, the pumping test completes an establishment of well as the current withdrawal volume indicates that the use of the well levels above its approved volume would likely drop the water level in the well to levels below the top of the screen intervals. Please be advised that the routine dropping of the water level to the screen uh, interval or production could well substantially reduce the long-term sustainable yield. DES recognizes there are incidental issues such as line breaks, flushing, and or errors reporting may occur from time to time that influence the reporting withdrawal of the requirements. However, uh, the, re yeah, the reoccurring PPD yeah, um, exceeds noted, noted in the water records above implies that use of well two is not incidental. Therefore, please submit a response to the report to not to exceed 30 days to 
the date of this letter, including description and explanation of why the withdrawals from the well exceed the PPD, or a statement to that effect that the system shall maintain withdrawals from the well at a level that doesn't exceed. Um, feel free to submit a response via email, etc. Questions, and this is signed by Stephen or I drink the water groundwater. To that end, I am going to promote, propose to the other um, commissioners that the simple fix to this is, um, correct me if my math is wrong, about uh, three days a week, roughly, running the other well, the quarter well, will bring up the volume, and my math might be off a little bit, I'm sure I'm not positioned here figure that out, but it should be conducted roughly three days a week. If that was run in, in lieu of the other well, then um, we will not be in excess of the drama. So with that said, I would like to propose that we direct the superintendent to come up with a use factor on the quarter well to reduce the demand on General John Sullivan. Any questions or discussion? <coughs> yes. We have this is information for the John John Sullivan Wall. What information do we have on hand for the portal wall? What have we been putting up during that time frame? We know nothing. Do we have any records that are on on hand anywhere? I can see what we've done. I can see those figures in this process. I, th I think you're asking for pumping records for portal yeah. walls. Yeah. Yes. That's correct. Right? Yeah. When do you want them back? As soon as possible. You've got 30 days to answer this thing, you've got to find out what's going on. Okay. In the meantime? As I understand what you're saying, you would like Porta Well to go online up to three days to ensure first that it's functioning properly, and then also to ensure that General John Sullivan doesn't exceed its permitted, whatever that PPD actually stands for it. Permit 190 production gallons per day, up to three days per week. Is that correct? Yes. Based on rough numbers, and you know what the demand is day to day, but I guess based upon the discussion of what those numbers are, it should come up to about what we were told before. It should be able to come out of the Fine. And we'll be right back to the superintendent to give us a plan as to how he's going to do that. Any questions about that? I don't think. And we'll expect the reports on Porta Well at the same time? Yes. Any, put it up to a vote? Any agree, disagree? I vote yes. I vote yes. Good morning. Okay. Unanimous vote. next meeting and adjournment. Anything else that we have other than that? Well, yes, we do have to go to an executive session oh, yes. on law. But I, I would like to propose that so that we're not thrashing around for days to meet again is how about if we meet every second and fourth Wednesday of the month until further notice. Second and fourth when so if there's five weeks, we're not gonna have to do the total for the twenty sixth. Now if the, the the second Tuesday of June is the twelfth, unless I miss my guess. No, June two thousand nineteen. What was the Wednesday? Six foot the last three. The twelfth and the twenty sixth. Yes, I said it wrong. I know you said Tuesday. You're right. You're absolutely correct. Hi, Matthew. Do we agree with that? We, would be a plan? Yes. I agree. Hello? All agree? Right? I agree. Do you have a question out here? I understand. We have any questions yet. This is pertinent to your schedule. In 
Committee. Not taking the budget questions committee. now. I understand that it conflicts with the Budget Committee. They're not meeting until the 24th of July. Which is the second, that's the, um, it's the fourth. Oh, not, no, sorry, no. Yeah, sorry. Uh, what's the next item on our agenda? I think we have to go to the Yes. Um, do we want to, well, can we adjourn and then with that? I don't think that's kind of sketchy, is it? Or no, actually it saves everybody coming back and forth here. Because we do have a matter of law we have to discuss. Yes. Several matters of law we have to discuss. And so, what a two minute question period. Questions? Yes. Thank you, Chairman. Um, my concern is that if you do that pattern of second and fourth Wednesdays, it's going to conflict in July with the fourth Wednesday, which is the budget committee meeting. And I had at a previous meeting suggested that we wouldn't want those in conflict so that residents and members of the budget committee can attend both. But I don't know if you're just talking about June or if you're talking about. We're just talking about June right now. Okay. The, the longer we can stretch these meetings up, the better for me. But well, it's not working out that way that far. Yeah, if we can avoid budget committee conflicts, that would be great. We'll Thank do our best to make sure somebody's safe. Thank you. Anybody else? Right. Yeah, I'd like to uh, find out about the oil and Um how that all went. Oh, the, the presentation? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, pretty good. John, John did a good job. Did, did a bang job. Um, we have pretty much a priority list now when they do the pump galley, and that's going to be done in-house, and then... Um, we think. We think. And what are the other two? Um, two other the data system and Porter Wells. Yep. That was 17000 can't remember what. Oh, oh, the transfer switch for the generator. There we go. Transfer, the transfer switch. switch yeah. for the generator. We got an antiquated hand load switch no, instead. No, it's mechanical, but it's made out of rocks. Yeah. Okay. So Why did we do that? We had one done the previous year. And where? Didn't we have that one was a report like that done the previous year? Right if there it was, I never got it needed in any of the bucks. So we never I don't know. We we did that up. Um, John did a great job for us. Everybody seemed in compliance. There was a whole bunch of people from the public there. Um, he has good reason to spend the money on good things. We try to find records of the previous what happened previously, there's nothing. Okay. Well, well, can I get all get the stuff on it. that? Yeah. All the emails. If we can find it. No, no, no. no, no. Regarding the, uh, oh, the, the tanner. Meeting? The oil tanner. Oh, oh, Is there, I think we got copies of the I think I have a copy right here. Oh, I'd like all the emails, everything that you guys corresponded with them on, invoicing. Are you talking about you the contract? Or are you talking about the contract? Yeah. That's a change. How did we hire them, though? And have, I just would like to get copies of like the emails you guys exchange, find out the reason. I, 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 I can, I can, as soon as I can find the presentation in my pile of paper. Ah, oh, here it is. This is the presentation. You can have that. There were a number of people sitting here tonight that went to the meeting. So. Would you like a copy of the contract report? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't have that with me, but I can send it to you. All right, yeah, I know I got one somewhere. So what happened to the other report? Nobody knows. The one that was done the previous year? Who's got a record? Who's got a record? We don't know if he's here at all for anything. All right. all right, so two minutes. So all the records are in the file. They're all, they're all in the file with the minutes every month. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah. Go. Um, I'm not going to discuss it. I just want to, for the record, say I'm still waiting on those responses to all my questions. Um, I really want to have a meeting or some responses right. to all my questions. We'll get something the next week or something. That would be much appreciated. Right. Thank you. Any other questions? Yeah, I'd like to uh, just submit a right to know request for all of the emails and exchanges you guys have amongst yourselves. Regarding that? Yeah. Sure. All right, thank you. Thank you for addressing we cannot produce this in five, all of it in five business days. I can tell you that right now. Some of it takes a while to produce. 
Okay, yeah, no problem. Okay, it's five you. days, so by law. Yep, go ahead. Um, I was also curious about the Hoyle Tanner workshop and the decisions made. Is there going to be something in writing or formally presented discussion at a meeting to talk about all the priorities that were set? We have one of them next next. Um, <coughs> Just a more thorough discussion for those that were in the Let's go look for all the people who are doing you, basically. Yes, Senator. And we have some other questions to ask before we even begin to talk about what we're going to do with helping them. Then we can look at the bottom line and see whether that's going to bring us over the bottom line. What we have to let go to go along with it. Okay? Yeah, no, there, I was just wondering. I'm not going to be attacking us. It's not going to be five minutes. Okay. Any other questions? That. Seeing none, thank you all. Wait, 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 no, no, no. Well, we are not adjourned. Okay. We have, we have to show into executive session. And one more question. No. I don't get a question. No, you're, you're neither a rate payer nor a citizen of the town. No. Well, I am the <laughs> superintendent. I just, okay. for the that's, record. That's, no, not for the record. record. Not for the record. Not for thank the record. Thank you. You're not for the record. I've been a letter put it, like put it in writing. 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 It's in writing. To the commissioners. Thank you. I move to go into non-public pursuant to RSA 91-A colon 3, Roman numeral 2, L, for the purpose of consideration of legal advice provided by legal counsel, either in writing or orally, to one or more members of the public body, even where legal counsel is not present. Do I have a second? We do. Now we vote. All right. In favor. We are now in executive session again, sorry. You know when we're going to meet again. We have your request for under RSA 91A. I think the public needs to adjourn. Well, we'll probably come back and do that as we close the room. So, um, I, I so it's not adjourned? The meeting is not adjourned because we're in executive session. Public entrance. I just, I know how you act. You probably open it to the public at 9 o'clock tonight. So, it's not going to be right now. Yeah, it's not going to be right now. It's not going to be right now. I did not hear you. I just want to make sure you're not going to do any stuff. All this stuff. We can't do it right now. We can't do it right now. Okay. Okay. Okay.
personally give you a password. Security info. That's fine. I can do the ace cheating my red tag. Well, we don't need to. Moving on, one minute itself. <laughs> can't expect people to do anything without checking in. Right. That would People are familiar with Gmail and Gdrive, and I'm just exactly the same. Yeah, I can share it with Comcast. It's fine. Are you sure I'm following all the procedures properly? Commissioners, any other items to go before the public or the Senate? No. Except we're yes. now to meeting June 12th, and I assume we'll be meeting here again. After all, it's a lot more comfortable. I also I want to submit um, for the record the letter from Ray since I am a great pair just on his behalf in writing to you all about instances where um, you have not followed our RSA in any way. We'll turn this over to our attorney and have him review it. Wrapping up, place a bill on that. All right. Well, it's too bad we have to. At this point, I'm going to call following our schedule, uh, meeting adjournment. Do I have a second? Second. All vote? Aye. Aye. Jump up. I thought I'm sorry, I was reading this. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Adjournment? Yes. Okay. We're done. We need to thank you. Who's that huge guy coming out the video camera?